Okay, let's draw this 3D hollow model. So we start a new part. Okay. Okay, we are going to draw on the top plane. Okay. So draw line. Let's go use the inference line to guide you. Okay. Okay, now this line is not horizontal. You click and make it horizontal and dimension it. Of course, you can see the all, all this, but then a bit clutter. La, so I, I I remove it. So forty five, twenty five, twenty five. So it's fully defined. Surface is stood ten mm. So I go to the face. Extra surface 10 mm. Okay, next, we are going to sketch on the top plane a rectangle. So go to top plane, sketch. So normal two. So the it, rectangle should be around here. Corner rectangle. Coincident. Okay, dimension it then. Then twenty five. So the extrude surface extrude. Uh, the TMM surface surface I should make it dirty change direction okay so this way next we want to create a plane because I don't want to cover this portion uh, I I will sketch I will do another sketch on the top plane Catch. So you can convert entity. The entity. Okay. Okay, one more line. Copy entity. Okay, next we trim our trim. Okay, let's see the sketch. So now we have to create a plane to cover this portion. So go to plane, go to the face. Uh, the plane. I like the sketch, okay. So if you use the plane command to select all the edges here, that means this, you have to trim this portion away later on. So a bit troublesome. Because we want to have a hollow model. So now we need to Okay, done ready this part. Okay, so now we don't need to trim. Okay, now we are going to create a plane to cover the top part here. So go to plane, select all the edges.
Okay. Let's do one more time, print. Seems that like it doesn't allow me to to have this command uh, okay now. Okay, plain. Right, it's cover. So next type is we are going to draw a, another rectangle on the top plane. So go to top plane. And not top plane, good. Ah, top plane, correct. Top plane. Okay. So we are going to draw a rectangle. In origin. I mentioned it. Ten by fifteen. Don't click the point, otherwise you you cannot dimension. Fifteen. Okay, let me go to isometric and surface extrude twenty five. So go to surface, surface extrude twenty five. So now we we have to follow this this portion here. So it's a little bit trickier. Okay. So let me create a sketch on this plane. Okay. Normal two. Okay, let's draw a corner rectangle. So it's coincident. So I have the thing here. Okay, let's 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 see. So go to surface, trim surface. The trimming tool I take just now the sketch. Keep selection. I keep this one. Seems I cannot keep here. So that means I that might I'll remove all this section here. So all this remove. Okay, because there are two surfaces here, so okay. Let me delete the face. Delete face. So now the whole thing is hollow. Okay, so I can use extend surface. Extend surface, surface, up to surface, you click here. Okay, clear. So it's select this three surface, up to surface, click here. Okay now. Okay. So now we need to patch up this this portion here. So I will create a plane there. I select this this plane. Go to plane command. First reference the face. Second reference is the edge here. So I got a plane here. So let me one, I hide the plane one. So let me, let me make a sketch there. Normal two. So I draw a corner rectangle. Make sure it's coincident. Coincident. Okay, then we go to surface. 
explain to cover up. Okay. Now, see which part is not covered. So this one is not covered. This part is not covered. When you go to plain command, select. Okay. So it's covered. Already covered. Already. So this part is not covered. Just now we have a sketch there, so we go to plane. Just now we have a sketch. This sketch, no, no. The plane. We just get. Okay, so we are going to select the the edge. Here. I like the edge to cover which so cover here left it one cover what to print command again let's cover this one Okay. Okay, go to now we have covered everything. So go to section view and check. You can see that it's all hollow. It's hollow. So we have created a hollow model. Now you see that we have we have many body. So we try to reduce it. So I go to one of the, I check this one. Okay, this one I can, I can knit with this one and this one. So now we have seven. From nine we drop to seven. So look at, look, okay, now I select this one. So I can knit with this surface on top. So now left five. So look at this one. <coughs> you can knit with the bottom surface. Now we have whole body. But see this one can knit with this surface. Yes. So this surface I can knit with this one. So I left with two, two body. So you can continue to knit until you have one body. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video.